You've been lied to your entire life about the T-Rex. They don't sound like this at all. You probably recognize that sound from movies. I'm gonna play you the real sound of a T-Rex, but what the movies got wrong is the roar. They made the T-Rex start to have this loud screaming roaring sound. The issue here is that mammals roar. Lions, tigers, you T-Rex were not mammals, but the closest relative of T-Rex would be crocodiles and birds, and they don't roar. So in order to have an accurate sound of what the T-Rex sounded like, you would have to mix a crocodile sound and a bird sound. And when you do, it's actually much scarier than what you hear in the movies. What's even crazier, besides me, is that you would feel the sound in your bones. Imagine walking through the forest and hearing this sound. This is what scientists believe extinct animals sounded like. Titanoba is the largest snake to ever exist, and lucky for us, it went extinct about 60 million years ago, and this is what it sounded like. This animal is called the quagga. Scientists are actually trying to resurrect it right now. This is what they sound like. This sound is from the doo-doo bird. They were bigger than a turkey and only went extinct about 500 years ago. <laughs> This sound is the Irish elk. What if you had a dog with a pouch that looked like a tiger or a wolf but was a marsupial like a kangaroo, wombat, and a possum? Yeah, I think nature got confused too. A thylacine was also called the Tasmanian tiger or Tasmanian wolf. <coughs> the wily mammoth were as big as elephants but a lot thicker and hairy. And once you hear them, you'll be glad they're extinct. <coughs> This last sound is the scariest of all, and I can't believe they're trying to bring this animal back. This is the Smilodon, aka Saber Tooth Tiger. <laughs> this is a Turisoto. This flamingo bird with bat wings sounded like this. This alien looking beast is a ground soft, also called Megatherium, and sounded like this. I already feel the ocean, but this is crazy. This is the Basilosaurus. <laughs> In the ocean is the Leviathan whale. This massive beast weighed about 50 tons and was actually a predator. And this is what it sounded like. The sound is the Wally Rhino and they were 15 feet long and 4,000 pounds. <laughs> If you ever walked through the forest and heard this sound, you probably panic. This is the Stegosaurus. <laughs> and although they were plant eaters, they had small brains, kind of like Twitter uses. Bruh. Some people believe they even had a brain in their butt. This was the Gigantothippicus that was the largest ape to ever exist. Bro kind of looks like Bigfoot though. This is what they sounded like. Pigs from hell. That's what the Deodon's called. They were as large as bison and had big cheekbones and gave it extra bite force. This is what they actually sounded like. <laughs> These overgrown parrots were called a Brontonese, aka terror bird. They were nine foot tall flightless birds and although they were flightless, they were pretty robust birds. Imagine walking in the forest and hearing this sound. First is the pterodactyl and they're absolutely terrifying. They were as tall as 35 feet and weighed 500 pounds. The next one is the dire wolf and they actually competed against the saber-toothed tiger for food. They were 25% larger than modern dogs and hyper carnivores. <laughs> this is the Parasophilophus. They were huge and could run 30 miles an hour. They blew through their noses and the sounds echoed through their heads. <laughs> The Zanzibar leopard was considered a menace in Zanzibar and the people actually hunted it to extinction in the 1990s. This last sound will make you glad they went extinct. This is the Velociraptor. They hunted alone and were super fast. Nothing in the forest would survive with them around. You've been lied to your entire life how raptors sound. They don't sound like this at all. 
I bet you heard that sound from movies, but it's fake. I'm gonna play you what a raptor actually sounded like. But do you know how they actually got that sound in the movies? The movie creators wanted a unique sound that no one has ever heard before. And I bet you never heard a pair of tortoises mating. They had plenty of time to sit around and watch them or record them making baby turtles. But what the movies got wrong was basically everything. Raptors were much smaller than what they show in the movies, and they are also covered in feathers like birds are today. Some of the closest relatives of the velociraptors that are alive today are the stellar sea eagle, the Eurasian bittern, and the cassowary. So in order to have an actual sound of what a velociraptor sounded like, you would have to mix all those animals together. And it's so much scarier than what's happening. But what's even crazier, besides me, is that you would get chills down in your bones if you heard this sound. <laughs> to your entire life of how Spinosaurus sounds. They didn't sound like this at all. You probably heard that sound from movies, but it's totally fake. I'm gonna play you what a Spinosaurus actually sounded like. Since the Spinosaurus is a fairly new species of dinosaur discovered, many people make up what they look and sounded like. And of course, movies want dinosaurs to have this loud roaring sound, but lizards don't roar, mammals roar. Some of the closest relatives of the Spinosaurus would be the crocodile and alligator. So in order to have an accurate sound of the Spinosaurus, you would have to mix an alligator sound and a crocodile sound. And it's so much scarier than the ones in the movies. But what's even crazy, besides me, is you get chills in your bones when you heard this sound. Which one of these dinosaurs do you think makes the scariest sound? Number one is a pterodactyl. Number two is the T-Rex. Number three is the saber-toothed tiger. This is number four, the Gigantipicus. Number five is the terror bird. Doodoo bird is number six. <laughs> These animals used to live where you live now, and I bet you're glad they're extinct. In Australia, this giant lizard is called a Megalania. These baby Godzillas grew to about 22 feet in length, and they were poisonous. The Gila monster and the Komodo dragons are very similar to what this beast actually looked like. If you fear snakes, you would never have visited South America when the Titan Nova was alive. This was the largest snake to ever exist at 50 feet and 2,500 pounds. They could swallow sharks with no problem. For my friends in the UK, you have the pterosaurs. These bird bat hybrids could fly 60 miles an hour and pick you up like an eagle picking up a deer. In Asia, you have to deal with the Andrew Sarkis. They are closely related to hippos with a skull that was three feet long. And you know hippos are vicious. Imagine coming face to face with their step cousin. In North America, we had the large stegosaurus. Fun fact, the stegosaurus had two brains, one in his head, one in his butt.